Hello everyone! This is Dweria again and I'm going to show you a video about these paintings. Keep watching! I'm going to start from sp spring, then summer, and then moving to fall and winter. So basically I saw this video of this other painter on YouTube. I'll post her picture and her link here as well. So. It's not my idea. It's just been out of I've been out of practice from watercolor painting as well. I started last year. I used to paint every day, a few paintings, but now since I got married, it's been hard to paint with the change in routine, lifestyle, and whatnot. So, anyways, I'm starting off with the spring sky, nice and pretty colors, trying to blend it all out. Um, I roughly drew a sketch with a pencil. I don't have watercolor pencils, which I need to buy, but I have though. I started off with a sketch, and I'm just very lightly because a pencil is hard to erase and cover with watercolors. It's not acrylic painting. So anyways, I did that and just started adding some flowers, started off with light colors, you know, it's hard to go from dark and then to light. So start off with light colors, just blend it here and there, make it look really pretty and springy and just enjoy the rest of the spring painting video. drawn some trees here but I couldn't see them out because I drew them so lightly the paint kind of covered it so I just winked it and just made some new tree branches uh, tree trunks I mean made some nice pretty flower trees and that's pretty much it just you know just go with the flow basically So the spring is almost done, I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then I'll go back to it later and add some highlights and some other colors. So moving on to summer now, I made a summer sky, very light, you know, cl uh, clear sky, how in the summers, you know, we have nice beach days and everything. So I have a lot of memories of summer going to the beach with my best friend. So I thought about maybe getting a beach as well. And also in the video when the lady was doing it too, I'm like, this is perfect. So, I mean, yeah, I just did a beach uh, scene and with a tree and everything and yeah, so hope you enjoy. Just make sure, I guess, with watercolors, you blend all your colors and start off with very light. And then later, if you want to go dark, you can go back and do dark. So just, I was having fun with this. The thing with watercolor painting is that unlike oil painting or acrylic painting you can't add white on top of the color that you've already put on your paper so basically for me right now here when i was trying to add some waves and making the sun a little bit more whitish and you know add beach waves and stuff or it, yeah it was hard for me to add the white i had to really add a lot of white colors uh white watercolor paint as i don't have any any white out or whitewash so basically that's why it was a little bit hard, but no worries. I'm just taking the tape off, which is the most um, satisfying part for me. And then later I'm gonna go back and actually add some highlights to the spring, um, to the spring feel, spring picture, and see how that goes. So enjoy the fall and winter paintings now.
Moving on to the autumn or fall season, I again roughly drew a sketch and in the video the girl was doing a um, like a mountain scene with fall colours all around, I thought it was really nice. Mine didn't turn out exactly like hers, I think I like some good colours as well, watercolours and also yeah there's some things that I'm missing but it's alright, you just gotta manage with what you have right? So here I just made a sky with like roughly some rough like you know autumn colors, dark sky so that way the mountain stands out and all the fall colors. And then for the winter I just drew a little hut with some trees as you'll see shortly. You can't really see that clearly the drawing but it's there. Anyways so enjoy! I think I did a little overdose of fall leaves here, but I mean, it's fine. In fall, you get a lot of leaves everywhere, piles of leaves. I remember when I was little, um, back in Windsor, Canada, me and my sister, and my, I don't know if my brother was there, but we would make piles of leaves on the side of our house and just fall in them, like rake the leaves, put them in a pile. It was fun. So I mean, I guess I did a little too much of leaves there beside the mountain, but it's fine. And for winter, I am really sorry, I totally forgot to record I, when I just did a whole sky and everything at this point. I realized, oh shoot, I forgot to start recording. So the first part of it is missing, but I mean, that's fine. I just, I just did a little fade sky, a little purple. Um, it looks pink, but I did purple color and just blended it out with water. I just washed it out, so it's really light. And then I'm trying to make some ice glaciers here or ice something here. Um, but yeah, this was the most difficult one for me because, you know, with winter you can't really draw or paint white for the snow, so you gotta just improvise. So I added some purples and blues, and I added a lot of white, uh, watercolor white um, in there as well. So may I made sure, like, the like the plain, plain snow was, like, really, really faded purple and blue, so that way when I add the white on top, it shows. And I think it worked really well. So apparently this is my mom's favorite. She thought I did this the best, but to me this was really difficult, so... Here's a little house that I drew, which was hard to see earlier with pencil. Just drawing a little hut, I think it looks really nice. Um, in the painting, the girl didn't draw the tree behind the house, but I kind of wanted to have a little, you know, naked tree there with just the branches to show that there's snow and, you know, in the winter you don't have any leaves on trees. So I just did that and that's pretty much it. I didn't show in the video, but the faint trees in the background, what I did was I added a lot of water on my brush and just a little, added a little bit tip of black and or like bluish and gray or black and blue, I guess, and just um, dabbed that behind the dark trees and just faded it out with the water to make, to make it seem like there's a lot of um, trees in the background, you know, versus the trees in the foreground. Here I'm drawing like darker trees in the front, so you show, you, sh you see that depth of layers, like the front trees and then the middle ground and the background, you know, so... Yeah, um, just make sure you add a little depth and texture to your painting to show that you can't really make everything look realistic. It's not possible how God created things, uh, nature and all, but you know, you can just try to replicate it into your own best way. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, I'm just adding some details on the trees. I add a lot of white. Again, I'm added, adding snow on the branches, on the tree branches. As you can see, there's some like white spots there. I added some white paint on top of the house, uh, the hut, to show that there's snow on there. And also the naked tree behind the house to show that there's some snow on there so yeah i'm just adding some details and a lot of white watercolor paint here i need to get the white um, marker or the white white out that i can use for watercolor to add white to places where i need to i thought uh, i think this turned out good not as i expected it to but i think it would turn out pretty good and yeah it looks uh, like a really nice wintry scene I think the main reason for me to paint is just to have fun with it basically. It's just a nice hobby, just a good pastime and you know if you're stressed or worried about anything in life, you know, just paint. Um, doesn't need to be perfect, no painting is perfect, there's always going to be flaws, little details. So always just remember to have fun with while you're painting, whatever it is you're painting. And I 
thoroughly did enjoy it. I, I spent a few hours on these um, because I went back and forth. I was cooking and cleaning and then, you know, I let my paints to dry and then I came back to it. So here when I came back to my spring painting, it was after a few hours, I went back with some lilac like basically i mixed a little bit of purple and white just added some you know branches trees just added some more foreground um, pictures and the painting that i did earlier was just like a background blurry-ish image so just going back and forth and with my paint and just adding some little details so again just remember to have fun that's the main thing i definitely did enjoy it's been a long time for me to paint but i was it was fun and i hope you all enjoyed the video please do let me know which one you think i did best in which one is your favorite and what's your favorite season for me it's definitely winter so that's pretty much it thank you for your time bye